Good day and welcome, Michael John Honeyark here with another quick tutorial on the light paint here. Today I have an idea that I want to take my face, put a vignette around it, which will make it black on the outside with a nice soft edge. I want to scale it down, put it on the inside of a 3D, overlay that on a 3D infinite tunnel, which is uh, going to be done in Panda 3D. And um, I'm going to stop the video right now because this next scene might crash the recording, and we'll be right back. So one of the first things you want to do for doing a screen capture is go to the miscellany and hit the 1366 by 766 by 4 what that's going to do is take my 1366 by 768 and expand it into four virtual desktops and it looks like it's still recording and cool it's over there and let's just see what happens if i stop this if this part of the video is on hmm <laughs> terribly cool and uh so that worked um which means i can expand my desktop while i'm recording and not have to worry about it crashing it used to crash uh, i guess we fixed that now um, another option uh, here is the follow mouse, and right now it's capturing a fixed area of uh, 64480, which is this window here. But if I stop the recording and put follow mouse on, it, you'll see this expanded desktop that I'm talking about. Be right back. Okay, and so now we got the follow mouse on, we're recording, and I can bring this over the side and watch what happens when I move around. Okay, there's Renoise, there's the uh, Light Paint Hero website, and there's the source code. And so you can see I've got this big huge area. And what's neat about that is you can have this expanded virtual desktop area for mixing sound, for doing whatever, and then uh, still be recording this area um, unimpeded. Okay, now on with the tutorial. We are going to do a vignette on an infinite 3D tunnel. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to go up to a terminal and find our Panda 3D directory, which is there, there, there. Do an ls for uh, infinite tunnel. Ls star maybe. Hmm, let's start up pi, and let's see here, get over a bit, infinite tunnel, nope, it's going to be in Panda 3D samples, I'm not sure where that is, I will be right back. Okay, I found it, it's uh, in probably user share Panda 3D samples, infinite tunnels in your machine, in my case I found it under the git where I downloaded it, we've got a main.py, so you type dot forward slash main.py, and if you come over here, here's our infinite tunnel, and I think I can make the size of this bigger, if not, doesn't matter. So for example, B makes the background color blue and Shift D makes the fog blue. But what we want is black, so I'm going to do D and Shift D. And let's come back here and we need to do a screencast. And the screencast is under the miscellany and right here. And here's your offsets. It's going to record a 64480 window um, with a start X of 1500 pixels across and 300 pixels down. And um, you know what happens if I hit screencast right now while this is recording? This just might work. It freezes for a moment, and there we go. It looks like we've got our infinite tunnel. Then you move the window around until we get that centered up. And that's kind of close enough. Hello, kitty kitty. What are we doing? Next thing we want to do is to add a mixing effect. And that's under video image filters. And let's go... Uh, actually, what we need to do is to mix in from the camera source. So we'll go back to light painter controls, click on the zero for now, that takes me back to the camera. We need to add a zoom on there. And change the width and the height, bring that around the center somewhere. And let's change the factor to something like maybe about that. And then you go into another layer for filters, add a free or vignette, and change the aspect. And if I play with the clear center, say somewhere around there. It's the soft. Yeah, put the soft up and the clear center really low. Maybe the aspect right about there. And so there we are in the center of the screen. Um, hopefully I can adjust the width and the height here to be back a bit. Where's the center? There we are. And the height. Anyways, this isn't meant to be perfect. Ah, okay, well, I'm working on some code right now to uh, change this. Let me reset this up. Okay, so simple. Let's just go to effects reset and start this again. Maybe let's do the uh, vignette first. No, that's a vertigo. Um, the order of filters is important, just like in Photoshop or any other graphic design program. And so we got our vignette, and now we'll add a zoom. And we'll change the width, and the height, and the factor. Let's say somewhere around there-ish. Now we go into our next layer, and we're going to add a mixing effect. And I'm going to try free or burn. Which just might do the trick, and we're going to set the mixing source to Cam2, which is our virtual desktop. Didn't seem to work, so I'm going to pop open the Reloaded. Whoops, load it twice. There's a kill switch there, which kills the last version, but I loaded two, so it didn't work. And, live control. So we've got our thing there, and... You now we've got the free or burn, click on that, go to the sample bank, and Capture2 is our virtual desktop. 
that's not working very well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so now I'm in infinite tunnel mode. Inverted. Let's see if we can find better air blend. Burn. No. Apply subtract. No. Normal overlay. Normal overlay is just like straight back and forth. That would kind of work. Um, wait. Let me record that. And let's go back to the camera, which is this one here. Effects, and then go to the zoom. You see we're a little bit to the left there. We want to bring that back a bit, so we change up and down, and our left. And a little bit more. Kind of hard to see. There we go. I'm in an infinite panel now. 3D. Very nice, eh? You notice that the screen is backwards there. No problem. Go to screen desktop controls. Rather here for the horizontal. Hello everybody, I am down the end of the infinite tunnel here. Bye bye, see you soon. Hmm, awesome. So that concludes our uh, infinite tunnel uh, test. It uh, was a success and uh, very nice. There's uh, like 9 million things you can do in my paint here and look forward to showing you some more of that very soon. Have a great day.